Thank you everyone for being here. My name is Brad Muller, proud to be the voice of your Gamecocks for the last 15 years. This never gets old, does it? In case you've forgotten how we got here, it's been a couple of weeks. These young ladies went 14-0 against ranked teams this year. At some point this year, they beat all the other teams that were number one seeds in the NCAA tournament. And all of the teams that were in this year's Final Four. And they beat one of those teams twice. Of course, they were SEC champions. Now they're national champions. Obviously, it wasn't easy. Everybody gave them their best game every night. But number one, wire to wire. That's how they started, that's how they finished, and that's why we're here. Thank all of you fans for supporting this team throughout the year and over the years. And thank you to all our Gamecock women's basketball alumni. A lot of them are down here. Thank you. To get things rolling at this time, please welcome to the stage the City of Columbia Mayor, the Honorable Daniel J. Rickenman. Gamecock Nation! All right, we can't start if we don't start with a chant. So this side, game. That side, Cox. Game! Cox! Game! Cox! Game! I always wanted to do that, so I had to do it. Man, what a great day. Thank you all for coming out to celebrate the, these the women. I mean, look what they've done. What an incredible consulate. You heard 35 games. They broke nine records. You know, we had Aaliyah with the double-doubles and the, and the rebounds, breaking records. Come on! This is an incredible time, but, you know, at, at the city, we, wa we wanted to celebrate. And, and Coach Staley, could you come up here for a minute? Yeah, Coach, yeah, Coach, yeah, Coach. <laughs> hey, two-time National Coach of the Year! So we decided to celebrate in the city of Columbia, and we wanted to make sure that we proclaimed, you know, on, on April 3rd, they won this little thing called the National Championship. And we talked about it, and we said, well, you know, why, why should we just declare one day National Championship Day? So we just decided to declare the whole damn month, y'all. So I have here the proclamation by the whole city council, and I wanted to give this one to Coach Staley so she can hang it in her office with the key to the city, which will get her out of parking tickets. But it's my great honor. Thank you for, and all the women in this basketball team, the band, the cheerleaders, the guys in the support. Y'all, hey, it's a team effort, and it was all of y'all. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And now, fans, please welcome U.S. Congressman James Clyburn. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Coach, don't go far. I want to do a couple of things here. In a few weeks, you all are going to be visiting your nation's capital, and you will be received at the White House uh, by the President of the United States. I'm going to leave the date up to you all to work out. He made the commitment that he'll do it, and you all can decide when you want to come. Be sure not to schedule it on a day when Congress is not in session. Please do it when I'm going to be there. But in the meantime, I want to present you with a couple of things, Coach. Now, the Coach is one of my road dogs. We hang out together now. I want to give you this certificate and this flag. On the day of April 6th, in celebration of this victory, 
This flag flew over the Capitol, and I want you to have it. Now, one of the things that I try to do in order to make accomplishments real memorable is to not only congratulate you in person as I've done, but I put in the congressional record on April 7th, this is the record of the proceedings of the United States Congress on April 7th. And in this record, Oh, where this little yellow tab is, each one of you get a copy. You will see a tribute to the Gamecocks with your names throughout it. So for the rest of your lives. And each one of you will get a copy of the record to hang on your walls. Now, what I usually do during an election year, I usually put my picture right next to it. I'm not going to do that, but congratulations. Not only did you win a national title, you won the hearts of the entire country, and you ought to be congratulated. So, each one of you gets your own copy. This is yours. The University of South Carolina is so fortunate to have great leadership at the top. So at this time, please welcome your university president and Gamecock superfan, Dr. Harris Pastides. Are there any Gamecocks at the State House tonight? Let me start by recognizing the back-to-back two-time national champions, the Carolina Girls. Ladies and gentlemen, what a ride it has been. How many of you were here for the early NCAA round in Columbia? How many were at the regionals in Greensboro, North Carolina? And how many of you, like me, went up to chilly, chilly Minneapolis? I felt something happening to me. I told Patricia as we uh, went out there to play Louisville, I said, we have a date with Destiny. And she said, Destiny Henderson or Destiny Littleton? I said, no, 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 it's not that kind of date. It's a date that has been written, that has been predicted early in the season. It was a, a team that although they had the lowest average offensive scoring of recent NCAA women's champions, they also held their opponents to the lowest score in modern history. I, I want to tell you, though, Congressman Clyburn said it right. These young women won the hearts and minds of people throughout America. They were and are America's team. Yeah. I want to tell you, Dawn Staley, what an amazing person. She has done more for gender equity for equality in women's athletics than anybody in modern history. And it's the dawn of a new destiny, isn't it? I know she's going to say this, but I'll, I'll say it first. The fams, not the fans, but the fams. If you're a fam, raise your hand right now. And I'd like us to coin something new. There's another SEC team in football that claim they have a 12th man, and that would be the fans. But we, all of us together, male, female, whatever you go by, we are the sixth woman, all of us. In closing, I want to remind everybody that this is I don't care what the newspapers say, this is the third national championship. We were in Dallas in 2017 when we beat Mississippi State, but I'll tell you, in 2020, we had only one loss all season. 
we were 16 and 0 in the SEC and we were going to be crowned the national champions. And there are some teammates out there who came back to say hello today. We love you. We cherish you. That was the consensus national championship. This is the third one. We're going to keep going. How about we, Mayor, how about we keep this parade route? Because we're going to need it again next year. <laughs> so it's been the honor of my life to come back and serve one more time. Uh, we're, going, uh, we're going away on June 30th, but I could tell you as soon as women's basketball season starts, we might not have the expensive seats, but we're never leaving this team. So go Gamecocks. Let's get the party started. Always a tough act to follow, but fortunately uh, our next guest knows a little something about winning national champions national championships, your athletics director, Ray Tanner. Thank you for allowing me to follow Congressman Clyburn and President Pastides. What a treat. 2017 in Dallas, Texas, they asked me where I wanted to sit, and I said I want to sit close to the court so I can be on TV. I sat right behind Asia Wilson's father. I got plenty of TV time. I haven't had that much since. In Minneapolis, they said, you're not going to be on TV like you were in 17. But what a wonderful, what a wonderful celebration it is tonight to have so many people on this parade route. We didn't want it to end. Matter of fact, we might get back out and go back around again. But I want to tell you, it's an understatement to say how talented these women are at playing basketball. It's an understatement. It's an understatement to talk about our coaching staff and our support staff that work so hard every day in women's basketball. Give them a round of applause. And a vastly, tremendously understatement to talk about the greatest of all time in Dawn Staley. We all believed that we would be here. We had the confidence, we had the expectation, but it still takes a team. And a team is together, everyone accomplishes more. And that is the fans that have been recognized. We appreciate you very much. You make it almost impossible to lose at Colonial Life Arena. Thank you so much. I want to share one more number with you. Since we left Dallas in 2017, this program under Coach Staley's direction has 178 wins. How about that? 74 of those wins are in Southeastern Conference play. If you want to do the math, that means we win 86% of every single game that we play. I never heard of that. And as Dr. Pastidi said, ain't no stopping us now. We'll be back. Thank you. You want to meet him? <laughs> Let's welcome home your South Carolina Gamecocks. Please welcome to the stage your women's basketball support and coaching staff, Assistant Coach Fred Schmeel. <laughs> Assistant Coach Joette Law. <laughs> Associate Head Coach Lisa Boyer. <laughs> and now your Gamecock student athletes, a freshman forward from Ellenwood, Georgia, number 20, Sanaya Fagan. A freshman guard from Dayton, Ohio, number 23, Breezy Hall. A freshman guard from Atlanta, number 25, Raven Johnson. A freshman guard from Wilmington, North Carolina, number 44, Sonia Rivers. A sophomore guard from Baltimore, Maryland, number two, Anaya Russell. A sophomore center from Brazil, Camilla Cardozo. 
a junior guard from Lexington, South Carolina, number zero, Olivia Thompson. A junior guard from Toledo, Ohio, number one, Zaya Cook. A junior forward from St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands, number four, Aaliyah Boston. A junior guard from Rock Island, Illinois, number 12, Bree Beal. A junior forward from Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, number 15, Leticia Amihir. Now, I know she's not here, but let's make her hear us from Indiana. A senior guard from Fort Myers, Florida, number three, Destiny Henderson. A senior forward from Rome, Georgia, number five, Victoria Saxton. A senior guard from San Diego, California, number 11, Destiny Littleton. A senior forward from Charleston, South Carolina, number 32, Alyssa Wesselick. And a graduate student from Durham, North Carolina, number 24, Lily Grisette. And finally, your 2022 Gamecock women's basketball head coach, Dawn Staley. <laughs> And now let's hear from a, a pretty special young lady, a fantastic student athlete, and an even better person, the SEC and Consensus National and Defensive Player of the Year, Aaliyah Boston. Hey guys. Um, I just wanna say thank you all for coming out. Um, we couldn't have had a great season without you guys. Um, we hear you guys every single night. We step on the floor to play a game, and I just want to say thank you. Go Cox! Yeah. And now the person who has built this program to what it is today, a Hall of Famer as a player, and let's face it, she's going to be a Hall of Famer as a coach, right? Your SEC and National Coach of the Year, Don Staley. get together like this, you know, everybody wants to hear something that's so profound, right? Here's the most profound thing I have to say. That is, the victory was won before it was played. So often, so often that um, people that are in the position of our, of our team, um, being the number one team in the country, um, being the number one team in the country at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end, so often you don't finish the job. Um, and we couldn't finish the job without having the complete support from the very top, you know, our, our president, President Pestides. Um, our interim president, um, President Emeritus, hopefully I'm not saying that, I'm, I'm, I, gotta, I gotta practice that name a little bit, but I'll have it by July the 1st. <laughs> um, our mayor, our council, women and men, our general assembly, um, every single person that is um, of prestige really backed our program. They, they did, and we, we felt it from the very top um, all the way down to, you know, anybody that's walking um, these streets of Columbia, South Carolina, to ride down Main Street and to interact with you all, our, our fans, and they, they hear you, like they hear you scream from the bottom of your heart how much you love us, really, resonates with me. It, it, it touches me. It, it really, it touches me beyond like, I'm a Philly girl, and I don't really get emotional 
but you make me emotional. And I, I really appreciate it. Um, it it's, it's worth everything that we had to go through. I know we made it look easy, but it really wasn't easy. The sacrifice of, of all of our players um, all season long um, was, was apparent to us, but probably not to you all. So I want to thank our players for, for, for the sacrifice. At the beginning of the season, we asked all of our players, all of our coaches, all of our, our highlighters, that's our male practice squad, yeah. The highlighters. We, we asked them to make this year special. And when we said make it special, they didn't really understand what that meant. They didn't. Um, but it meant that some people will play a big role as far as getting out there and play, and some, some of them will play a bigger role because it's a bigger role not to play. Um, so the people that, that didn't play a whole lot, your role was a lot bigger than you thought it was um, because you didn't have to accept it and you could have blown it up and we could have not been in this position right here. Um, so I thank you for that. Um, and then lastly, I want to I wanna thank you all, our fans. Like seriously, our fans. No one, no one, like they, they, can, they can make up statistics and, and say we were the lowest scoring team in NCAA tournament history. They could say that, okay? They could say, they could say that we, could held, we held our opponents to the lowest points, you know, in the history of the NCAA tournament, okay? Here's what they can't say, that we don't have the best fams in the country. So when you're calculating stats, take that in consideration. So before I, before I go, though, here's how special our fans are. Um, these are pretty cool. Um, there, there are two people on our team that really didn't get a whole lot of notor notoriety, um, but our fans thought that they should they should be honored today. Um, those two, pe two players are Victoria Saxton. Come on up here, V. And, and, and don't ever mistake her name. Her name is Bree. Bree Bill. Big body bins. Um, the fans wanted, wanted us to recognize you because so often you, you, you give us so much of you and yet you're not often recognized in the public's eye. So on the biggest day of our season, which is today, and to share this moment with our fans, they wanted to say thank you for your contributions to our national championship. So I said that was the last thing. Here's the very last thing. Here's the very last thing. Let's run it back. <laughs>